Good morning class. Today we are going to study about Karl Marx's two theories. The first is alienation. Now alienation is a process by which human beings are alienated from themselves. Now this does not happen in one single day. There is a process and there are three stages to it. The first stage is alienation from nature. Earlier human beings were part of agricultural production and anything related to the land. But now, but nowadays because of industrial setting, because of the production demand, human beings are no more indulged in direct activity with the nature. So here human beings, be it the laborer, be it the manager of the factory, be it the owner of the factory, they are no more engaged in direct agricultural or any natural activity. They are doing their work inside the four walls of their factory. Second is alienation from fellow human beings. So now this has been discussed earlier as well. In this what we are, uh, we are going to look at uh, let's say the Charlie Chaplin movies of the pre-industrial or industrial setting for that matter. What we have seen is that if there are two family members, basically you belong to one particular family and they are engaged in one type of activity in one given, uh, at one particular place, in one factory. They are being particularly separated by the factory owner, by the manager to ensure there is no talking between them, to ensure that there is no wastage of time. So this is, they are alienated from the fellow human beings. So the feelings, the behavioral aspect of human beings have been flung to it. Second is alienation from one's own fruit of labor. So in this a very uh, good example would be, at that time there used to be an automobile company called the Ford. So in that particular company there is this labor. Imagine there is this labor whose work is to screw the, uh, fix the screw. Now that particular labor would never be able to buy a Ford car or vehicle or whatever. Why? Because he will not be able to earn that much of money in his entire lifetime. So what is happening here is that he is alienated from whatever he is doing. So in earlier times this was not the case. Their people were content. Why? Because if I am an agricultural, agriculturalist and I am growing and say wheat, I would be able to usurp that wheat as well. But the case has completely changed in this process. So the alienation process marked the first and the major, uh, let's say, tragic event which caused uh, certain abnormalities in the industrial process in the later half of the century. So this is the process. This is the first theory of Karl Marx. The second theory is structure and superstructure. In this he basically tells us to imagine society as a building. So every building has a foundation, has some base. So he is saying similarly our society has a base, has a foundation and that is the structure we are talking about. And everything else, all the floors which are, up, which are made above this base, it is called superstructure. Now he is saying that imagine our society as a building and the base, the foundation of it. The structure of it is economy. So the foundation of our society is economy and everything else is based on the economic structure of the society. For example, we have politics at one uh, level, at one floor we have politics in our society. So whatever the laws would be, they would be in accordance to the economy. Whatever the economy demands, the politics will give you. The laws would say that you have to do this because economic demands us. Same with the religion, the faith. So here uh, we have studied about the Protestant ethics. The Protestantism and the ethics of that very religion helps the economic structure to grow. At that time the economic structure was capitalism and capitalism demanded the, that human beings devote their entire energy, their entire time to the work, to the production demands. So the religion here, Protestantism, the very ethic of Protestantism says that, that you have to engage in economic activity so that you do not waste your time. And that is one way you will reach the God. That is one way you will become the chosen one of the gods. Now here what is happening, the religion, the faith, the beliefs, the customs, they are helping the economy. Same with the politics, same with the social norms. So here in this we can say that the economy is the base of our behavior. So this was the second theory given by Marx. And to sum it all up we can say that Karl Marx was one person who pointed out the differences that were happening at that time and why and how things changed. So we need to understand these two theories.
during the industrial revolution thank you